Hey, good morning, everybody. AJ here. We are getting ready to head back to Zion Baptist, hopefully, for the last time. Um, we got some new traditional boosted HDMI cables. We got a new SDI, I mean, not SDI, <laughs> XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable to see if we can avoid the sound issues that we're having from the X32. We got my extra DVE adapter and we have the smart plug that we're going to put up there for the switch so that, that can be turned off from the app upstairs um, yeah what else we got I have a on-site that I have to do at a church here in Richmond this afternoon so it'll be two videos today um, for on-site and design or it's a tech support I can't honestly I don't recall off the top of my head right now <laughs> literally just woke up but um let's go ahead get on the road so we can get there early knock out as much as we possibly can and then we'll go from there man i'm on the way here to the church and i'm just thinking through that the the dve adapter that i held up to show what i had <laughs> i left that on the table joy so I only got one of them, but I needed two. I need the other one to feed over to the other TV. So, <sighs> so I got to come back out here again. Um, but based on how everything goes, I should only need to put an adapter in the ceiling um, on the end of this other cable. All right, folks, what's the plan for today? I have my conduit. We're gonna knock out this right here and work our way back. I'm gonna run this cable on the floor. Um, I actually had an epiphany on how I can possibly solve this without that extra adapter being here. Um, I had an Aura splitter that I left at Greater Faith because um, I've replaced everything that was there. I'm gonna see if I can feed these two TVs with that Ori splitter that runs everything over um, a Cat6 cable. If I can get both of these here, then I can just use the third one to power the DVI splitter. So I'm gonna see um, what we're gonna do, but let's go ahead. I'm saying that's that heat, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, knock this out, and then we go from there. There we go much nicer and neater now i just need to cut another piece and cut this angle and come down in the corner i put that right angle piece right there i might have to take that and use it for the corner but oh well all right new conduit ran nice and neat um i think i want to focus all the attention back on here for right now just for a little bit because um, we got these cables and what I got to do is I want to test out the output using this, the XLR output from the X32 instead of the auxes since we were having an issue with the sound. So I'm going to see if we can get this sorted out because that doesn't make any sense. But let's go. All right, folks. So, uh, so if you do have other... Please put me in the comments. I just put this poll out. Um, I just muted everything. And audio is still going to the system. How is that possible? Oh, it was a house. <laughs> Tripping for a second. Um, anyway, um, I tried that Ori um, HDMI over Ethernet extender. I have the Ethernet on the floor. Didn't get a signal. So um, I got the 75 foot traditional HDMI cable um, I believe it's long enough I'm gonna go back up in the, the attic connect it to the DVI plug come back down and then plug it onto the floor and see if I get an image um, that 50 foot should be long enough to go from the left TV over there at the same time too so I might actually do that now which will save me some time because um, that cable is going to be in the, in the ceiling anyway. I just need to come back and get a DV, um, DVI adapter to plug into that splitter again. So we should be good. 
Alrighty, so the 50 foot cable I already have ran over and plugged into the TV. You got plenty of slack over here. Um, so now I'm gonna go back up in the attic, pull over, pull out that HDMI, the Ethernet adapter, plug in the HDMI cable that I have here on the floor right now. Make sure I get a signal. I should get a signal everywhere because this is actually split. So, I mean, that's gonna work. But I should get an image on every single TV except for this one because I don't have an adapter. We get that, we're gonna be good. And Jerry finished configuring the smart plug. So I'm gonna plug that in there for the splitter and they'll be able to turn that on from on and off from the app if they have any issues. So let's move up and then when that works, when that works, I'm gonna move the ladder old school and just walk it all the way down and fish the cable over the HDMI cable and then we'll go from there. Alrighty folks, we just finished coming from connecting everything. So let's see, do we get an image? Nothing? Ah. All right. What in the world? Back to the drawing board. All right, this is starting to get funny. Change the splitter. Change the cable. Still not getting a signal. So it's not a fiber optic thing. It's not a splitter thing. We know we got a signal from the original DVI there, so it's like no signal is coming at all from that cable. Um, and I know it's not the jack because I'm plugged directly into the ATEM now, coming from this long um, HDMI cable. The first thing I thought, maybe I have the cable backwards, but I don't see any marking saying that it's a... Um, uh, one direction cable so like right here ah, let's turn this around so even right now I am plugged in directly into the A10 and I am getting nothing so what I'm gonna do which I guess I should have did before I did this is I mean thankfully I didn't run it in the ceiling um, I'm gonna unplug it back in the attic push it back through Connect it directly to the TV to see am I getting anything. Maybe it's not liking that adapter, which doesn't make sense because I've used those at my church and personally used them. And I'm not sure. I mean, here's the booster here. No markings to say if it's one direction or anything. Nothing. And then, just to make sure... focus there see, there's nothing can't get in focus. all right as you can see there's nothing here to mark a direction at all so you know what I should do I should plug it into the Mac to see if I get a signal all right, so I have a coupler coming from the Mac to here, and still not getting nothing. <sighs> Don't tell me I had a bad cable, man. <laughs> like, like, what in the world? Uh, all right, so this is making me think I need to test the other cable as well. I don't have a cable coming from the camera. Ugh. Oh well. We'll figure it out. Alright, so I just pulled the cable out of here, plugged it up to this with nothing coming directly from the ATEM going into this. I get a signal. Ugh. So, let me show y'all that real quick. 
All right, so as you can see, that's what I have connected. Long cable comes right back and plugged into the back of this monitor. Works perfectly stinking fine. I even flipped the cables around thinking maybe that was it, but again, it's not. But again, I'm going to take this and I'm going to hook it directly to the TV and see what we get. Again, I'm not even connected to anything with that splitter down there. This is coming directly from the a -tone. Man, I am so done right now. Coming directly from the a -tone. Perfectly good signal. Yo, what in the world, man? I've never had this many issues with some of this stuff. Again, it's not the cables. We're on completely brand new cables. The only thing that's been consistent is the fact that we were using that DVI um, connector. That, that's, that's literally it. I don't, I don't know. So in other words, it's nothing the matter with this cable. Now let me do one more thing. Let's actually disconnect this, plug this through the splitter, and see do we get anything. Even though we really don't need that splitter anymore, we just need a, a one by two splitter instead of the eight. Let's actually switch this out with the one by two splitter. You know what folks, just put a cape on me and just consider me super done because I plugged, I disconnected this. I have another, oh yeah, that one. One by two, nothing. Nothing. Working perfectly fine. When I unplug it, plug it into here. We've played around with the settings on the front, copy, all this other stuff, each setting here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It detects it, but nothing. I, I, I don't know. Now, the only saving grace I would think is originally in the design. Remember when I was showing y'all, this is supposed to be a stage display. So this is going to actually be connected to the computer. So I don't have to worry about a splitter being here. But I, I, ugh. I don't know. I really don't know. So the only thing I'm going to do now is maybe try and run we see that it's working. It's the that cable going all the way there, plugged directly to the TV. And see if I can plug it, go back up in the attic, plug it into there, see if I get anything. If I don't, actually, you know what, let me not do that because we know the cable works. So I need to fish this up and over and just get that out of the way. And worst case scenario, if the cable don't work, I'm just gonna leave it in the ceiling because I, 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 at this point, I'm done. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, folks, I'm feeling real silly. I pulled the cable and input. But at least I'm on the right side. All right, folks, um, not, a, not a failure, but another day closer to victory. We got everything pulled and what I think ultimately we're going to do. I have one at home. Actually, no, I have access to two of these. I have access to a HDMI to SDI and an SDI to HDMI converter. So what I'm going to do is this HDMI cable works, but it's just for whatever reason, when it's connected to a splitter, it just doesn't send a signal for some odd reason. So what I'm just going to do is leave a leftover um, HDMI cable, use the HDMI cable, the long HDMI cable that I just ran, and I'm gonna run SDI cable all the way to the back and get a short HDMI to DVI cable, and that will be the source that plugs in, and then um, everything else is working, because I mean, we got everything here set up, sound is working, everything is working. Um, it's just that TV is problematic. I mean, not the TV, but the um, cable. Because you see, we got this here. And you know what I should do? This extra, 
this one right here. I should terminate this. No, because I only got two caps left. BNC connectors. I need to order some more of those. But I'm going to make one continuous run. Get a 200 foot spool of cable. And that should be long enough. But um, we got to cut out at this time because I have, I have to make it over to an appointment um, back in Richmond. But very nice picture. It's just... Oh, man, I've never had this many issues but I mean it, it's just weird two three no four completely different splitters five different cables the only thing is the ATEM and I don't think that's it because I wouldn't be getting a signal right now to the TV or nothing like that but we're just gonna go to the old standby cut it over to convert it over to SDI see what we get from there if that don't work I I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe a wireless HDMI, but we know we're going to have some latency issues if we go with that. But let me tell Jerry I'm packed up because um, I need to head up to Maryland this weekend to do another install. So I got to take everything with me. But coming back here, I need to put the converter up there, put another converter back here, um, and then go from there. I might even suggest Jerry change out that that sh small surge um, smart plug and put a smart surge protector so we can have those two outlets to both of the adapters up there. But we shall see. On to the next adventure, folks.